Um, yeah, does the Yumbo come in different sizes? No. No, so no Jumbo Yumbo. No, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll do, thanks. Yum, 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 let's go, 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 go and get a yeah, yeah, yum, yum, bo. With cheese. Yeah, yeah, yum, yum, bo. With ham. Yeah, yeah, yum, yum. Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. 1991 was a year of great upheaval. The Soviet Union collapsed, the war in the Persian Gulf began, and Vanilla Ice's Cool as Ice failed miserably at the box office. Words of wisdom, drop that zero and get with the hero. But the biggest thing to happen in 1991, without question, was Hungry Jack's decision to stop selling the Yumbo in Australia. Get down to Hungry Jack's and get a Yumbo! But now, 30 years later, to celebrate 50 years of Hungry Jack's in Australia, they have brought back the Yumbo to Australian stores. That's right, it's available once again, is it any good or, like Vanilla Ice, should it just stay in the early 90s? Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm back from the drive through with my Yumbo and I got it in a deal actually. Now by itself it's normally $3 but I got it with a chips. I thought it would come with a hash brown but it came with chips, um, but that's fine. And, um, and, a, and a cappuccino, so because it's, it's breakfast time now, but anyway. Mmm. Oh wow, the chips are good. But anyway, I'm very curious about this Yumbo. It's three dollars. You get five slices of warm ham, which um, doesn't sound that appealing, and two slices of cheese on a bun. So it's fairly simple, fairly simple. I don't know if it'll have much in the way of sauce, but we'll see. All right, let's open up this bad boy. Let's have a look. And there we go. So, that uh, well it looks all right so far. Let's um, let's crack her open a bit and uh, do a closer inspection. Okay, so there we go. That's our five bits of ham. Apparently, I will uh, I will count this one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. The five slices of ham are there. I was worried about it being a bit dry because there's no sauce on it, but. I can assure you this is very wet so far. Quite a wet burger so far. All right, so there we go. I have a feeling it's been microwaved. It has that kind of just microwaved wetness to it, but let's give it a go. Hmm. You can, uh, you can definitely taste the ham. Hmm. Yes. Something for ham lovers. That is for sure. You can see the cheese there. I would imagine that's two slices of cheese. And they've kind of melted together. You can't really tell how many slices of cheese are there. Um, yeah, this is fine. As I said, for ham lovers, you're in luck. This is... This is quite a bit of ham. I'll try some ham just by itself. Jeez, mm, wow, it's really stuck there. Okay, I'm gonna try this uh, little bit of ham here. Mm. Yeah, that's that's perfectly reasonable. It is quite thin, as you might imagine. Five slices of the ham. So, yeah, this is probably the thinnest ham possible. But for $3, you can't really complain. This is fine. I like this. I like this. It is a very simple burger, but sometimes simplicity is the best thing. It kind of gives you an interesting insight into the tastes that Australians had in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. The idea that five slices of warm ham and some cheese were worth leaving the house for. I mean, I don't know who can't really make this at home. That's probably... Probably the only thing about this is it's it's so easily replicable at home. Even, like, probably replicable in-store. Like, you can just go to Woolworths and make this sandwich inside Woolworths. Maybe the bun is the only thing you can't get from Woolworths. Oh, really? You can? But, you know, Hungry Jacks have their own sort of special bun. Alright, so, in terms of a rating... Putting together the value, which is quite good, $3 for these slices of ham and cheese. It's pretty good value, I think. It's not incredibly filling. 
but it is good value. And uh, with the taste, I mean, I could I could probably eat three of these. These are these are nice. I would give this an eight out of ten. So there we go. Thank you, Hunger Jacks, for bringing back the Yumbo. Maybe this sparks a revival in other early 90s things. Perhaps we will get some hypercolor t-shirts at Hungry Jacks. That would be good. Or you could have the Simpsons arcade game in the store. Bring that back. That was one of the best things from the early 90s. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy this video, also like and subscribe because, uh, you know, why not? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.